Joint Base San Antonio has more than 200 fire emergency services personnel working at eight different fire stations. All of those firefighters, regardless of their location, have core training requirements dictated by the Air Force Civil Engineer Center. Lackland, Randolph, and Fort Sam Houston each have a training chief that coordinates location-specific instruction and practice. Lackland's chief also has training oversight for all the JBSA fire stations. Being joint base, even though we're one department, each location still has specific missions based on aircraft, based on the different things that they do. And so those operating locations, those training chiefs, run those training programs specific for those sites. Randolph is the only JBSA fire station with military members assigned. Those airmen have additional training requirements. We have a very rigorous and very strict training program that we follow. We have approximately uh, 20 first term airmen and these guys are coming in, uh, they're hitting the ground running, um, and they're getting their five level upgrades completed at a high rate. So they're doing a, a great job here. So you have to remember that you might have two patients instead of one. They may be firefighters, but about 60% of the department's responses are medical related. We don't get fires every day, but we get medicals almost every day. Try to watch your tone of voice, stay calm, don't speak real loud, kind of shocks them or scares them. These first responders keep their skills sharp with a mix of classroom, computer-based, and hands-on training. I can't really look at a picture and That'll teach me how to, how to do something. I have to get my hands on it. The hands-on training provides those who are new at the job with an opportunity for mentorship. 12, there's not much flame, but go ahead and do your attack. I haven't been doing this too long. We have a lot of older, experienced guys, and it would be really me performing to the way they wanted me to, me looking to them for guidance. You don't want that young one to, to be out on his own. He's not going to know what to do. So he's on the coattails of that crew chief. That crew chief's right there on his back, pushing uh, forward with the nozzle. They're, they're doing the work together, and that uh, rookie's learning the, those aspects of becoming that next level. And so our, our whole career is based around that. The physical nature of the work requires the firefighters to constantly work on their physical conditioning. The airmen have their required Air Force fitness test, and civilians are also given time to exercise and take part in group fitness. Hey, I got a victim. You got a rope? You can open it? Yeah, I do. Okay, go up to me. Walk around it. We'll go in. Right, I got one uh, individual coming up for you. The firefighters also have to train the community. Hey. We're not just responsible for training ourselves, we're also responsible for helping our customers and training our customers to be smart about what they're doing. That comes in the form of personal appearances, regular news articles, and other community outreach programs. We have the best fire prevention program in the world, hands down. Everybody that works on the base is required to get uh, fire extinguisher, fire safety training annually. That's, that's an Air Force requirement. You guys know what a smoke detector does? It makes a Okay. Smoking and yeah. Heat. When you hear that, you guys know what you need to do. Stop, drop, cover your eyes, and roll. Yeah, very good. It, it's almost an insurance policy because there's people out in our facilities that know how to put out a fire, call 911, so early intervention. <laughs> the hope is that an informed community will make smarter decisions and require fewer visits from these responders but these guys will continue to train and be ready to answer any call for help. Deb Decker, Joint Base San Antonio Randolph, Public Affairs.